Welcome to Can Hammer, everybody. Your source for 40k from the Great White North. Francois is back. Hey. <laughs> he is. We are playing ETC as promised. December. We're going to be playing ETC. Also, I owe you a game because we canceled yeah, our last game. Canceled on me last. But that time. was ITC, <laughs> so we've, we've made it now. We're playing ETC. This is my first time playing the new ETC missions. It's your third, third. or fourth time, so we're going to get through it together. They are in some ways more complicated, but in other ways much simpler, and fixes a lot of the problems with old ETC. It's a very different game. If you've never played ETC, we'll take you through it a little bit because this is our first bat rep on ETC format in a while. Um, it's not going to be a tutorial on how to play ETC, but it's actually a pretty engaging, complex, and good mission uh, style, it's actually. Nice. So I do encourage people to play, try ETC out. Nice to do something um, different. Yeah, because ITC is fairly predictable. Every game is almost kind of the same. Yeah. Um, and that's one of the criticisms of ITC. And you can really build for the format uh, to extremes. Um, Custodians is a perfect example of that. But ETC, really, you have to try and be more balanced if you're playing just single games. If you're playing in a team format, it's a little bit different because you have matchups. But um, generally, like it's a more balanced format. So we're going to try it out tonight. Uh, Francois is bringing his knights and yep. Admech. I'm bringing my new experimental Custodes ETC <laughs> list. And uh, we're going to go. So this is post chapter approved, obviously. Um, and uh, so we're going to get going and we'll come back with the missions. And then we'll go through a little bit about the mission that we're playing and the, kind of the style of ETC missions. All right, guys. Here's my experimental ETC Custodes list. Now, keep in mind... For ETC, there was no Forge World that was recently voted on and voted down. Still no Forge World that includes Custodes rules, which is annoying, but that's the way it is. So, no Forge World, no Lenses, no Index. So, we're stuck with the Codex for ETC, so we'll see what we can do. So, since we're stuck with Codex and we got some nice points drops, I thought I'd run a Battalion with some biker support because bikers are still really good in ETC where you have maelstrom cards and all that sort of thing and progressive scoring. So uh, you're not so worried about kill more and hold more like in ITC. So it's you don't have to play so denial. You can have a little bit of aggression. So we're going to see how it goes. So first we got Voloris. And then we've got a biker captain back now with the Oracle Quillis and the Misericordia. Then we've got the Vexilla with the minus one hit banner, a Storm Shield, and a Misericordia. Then we have a battalion of Guardians here, three by three, two shields in each unit. I didn't have the points for three shields, otherwise I think that that's the way to go these days since the shields got so much cheaper. But I just didn't have the points, I didn't want to get rid of hitting power in order to get that third shield into each unit. Then I've got a five man unit of Bikers, still very good in ETC format. Seven man unit of Wardens now, replace my Aqualons. They've gotten a lot cheaper as well, and they might just do the trick. And then I've got a little utility unit of three Alaris Terminators, just to give me some more deep striking. Small unit I can fit in small places. A little bit of damage, quite hardy. Uh, some character sniping, pile in shenanigans, and some anti-overwatch stratagem so i think they're a pretty nice little utility unit that i'm trying to run in three or four man size and uh so this is the perfect opportunity to try them out the other thing i wanted in my list but just didn't have space was a second vexilla with the plus one attack banner that's something i'm running in my other list these days so you'll see that in other battles but this is my etc army um the other thing you have to do for etc these days is you have to make a maelstrom deck of 18 cards so actually you can take out something like 10 cards so my deck is pretty straightforward um, just the secure objective 1 to 6 defend objective 1 to 6 because custodies is pretty good at that and then um, I got uh, big game hunter no prisoners um, the uh, defend of um, I got rid of this the skies I got rid of all the character ones so assassinating Kingslayer and kill the psychers I got rid of the fail morale test ones because that's pretty hard to do these days and then I've got um, I kept Kingslayer and I got uh, area denial which is pretty good because I like to hang out in the middle uh, so that's basically my deck it's fairly straightforward and we'll go see what Francois brought Okay, Francois's army, and I think you painted 
the ad make up pretty quickly. Yeah, well, these three, I just threw some paint on quickly. I think I spent like a half a day doing them up, just tabletop standing. <laughs> I will make them prettier before the Canheimer team tournament. <laughs> so, Francois is, of course, the captain of Team Hammerheads, Hammerheads for Canheimer team. And you, despite beating Matthew, you've been pushed off the Marines <laughs> well, and onto Knights because you have a good I have the option. Army, yeah. yeah. I think Knights are always one of the factions for ETC, depending on how big the it's teams are. It's a good, are. safe choice if you have access to it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so what you bring in front as well? Alright, so I have obviously the uh, Knights Super Heavy Detachment. Three Crusaders. Uh, I am going with House Tyrannus. That's uh, the trend these days. I Why Tyrannus over so Crast? I played a lot of Crast in the past, and Crast is the best if you run into a lot of big things, and especially lots of Titanics. In the current Marine meta, and in a team tournament format where you can kind of at least uh, maybe not choose but influence your pairings, Crast loses a little bit of its luster. And Tyrannus gives you a lot more survivability with the Feel No Pain and the Zombie Knights. So stack. everybody gets Feel No Pain? So all the Knights, they get Feel No Pain. Six up uh, does not work on Mortal Wounds, but okay. normal wounds, six up, Feel No Pain. Okay. And so this one, my Warlord. And you get the Zombie Knight. So we have, you have the Zombie Strat. It's not guaranteed, but if you save a CP to re-roll the roll for the Strat, that's a total cost of maybe four CP, but you have a 75% chance of your Knight coming back up, which is huge. And the Strat is like... Two, three, three, three CP. CP now, and once per game or in? once per game. Okay, yeah, it got nerfed. It used to yeah. be like it used to one be insane. CP or something. It was two, but that was that was yeah. way too good. Okay, so Warlord is this knight. Okay. He has Ion Bulwark and Endless Fury. Okay, now you have to um, give your Warlord trait in advance. So in against you, Ion Bulwark doesn't really help me, but that would always be my Warlord. That's the shooting one. And that's the so Endless Fury is the shooting Gatling, and then Ion Bulwark is the four up uh, in Vuln always. Against, uh, always, always, even in combat. No, not in combat. Just against you. I do have an in combat on this knight. I paid the CP to give this knight Sanctuary, which is the combat invul. Four plus? Uh, five up, but okay. you can rotate in combat. Okay. So it can go up to a four. And I'm giving him the Blessed by the Sacristans Warlord trait, and I'm blessing the Gatling weapon. What does that do? So on a wound roll of a six, it's a mortal in addition. Ouch. Yeah. Okay. And then this guy, I'm giving him the Tyrannus Relic, which is the Fury of Mars. It's a special Melta. 48, 48 inch range, and you're always in melter range. So it's ah. always 2d6, but the highest. It's massive. Doesn't matter today, but that not, would not be really nasty, against yeah. you. Uh, although, you know, if I'm shooting at bikes, getting that four, that five, you know. Sure. Yep. Yep. Then for the ad mech, I have a battalion and a spearhead. Okay. We are going um, Stygies for the minus one to be hit. Yep. The uh, Scorpius disintegrators all have the indirect fire and mortar. Yep. And then I just have a bare bones uh, battalion. Uh, there's two units of six and one unit of five. I had a couple extra points. Okay. And three tech, tech And three tech priests. Yeah. Yeah. Bare bones. Yep. Okay. And uh, public service announcement. These things do not have fly. No. They, they look uh, like they should. Always they don't. told that they do fly. They do Someone not fly, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> Someone lied okay. to you. Okay. And your deck generally, Francois. So I took all of the um, defend, secures, all of the secures, defends. I took uh, overwhelming firepower, obviously, uh, assassinate, uh, warlord, hold the line, uh, mission critical. Remember, you only need eighteen. Yeah, there's eighteen in here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Kind of similar to mine. Then. Yeah. I think everybody's gonna look pretty similar, to be honest. Pretty much, unless like you have lots of psychers, then obviously you take Master of War. Yeah, yeah. Which I'm not gonna because I don't have psychers. But... Okay, we'll come back with the mission. Yep. Okay, so we are going to be playing ETC Mission 6, which is called Resupply Intelligence. Now, how ETC missions work is it's predetermined deployment. Uh, you roll off for deployment. You roll off for um, objective placement. Almost all of them involve player-placed objectives. Two of them have some objectives are fixed. And um, so that's a big part of ETC is knowing how to place your objectives. Um, and then every mission involves an element of eternal war, so progressive objective scoring as well as end game objective scoring. And it involves some element of maelstrom cards, uh, in this case the white dwarf scheme of war cards. So basically you make a deck of 18 cards and each mission tells you how you can play those cards. Okay, So it's a little bit of a deck building aspect to it. Not that much, but just a little bit to make it interesting. And so this mission is a pointy hammer and anvil. So we're playing pointy anvil, hammer and anvil. Francois is going to be on that end. I'm going to be that end. The objectives have been placed by us. So fairly evenly. One over there, one in the middle, one back here. And then these ones are here, there, and there. And um, so I won the roll off 
for to pick the deployment zone, I pick this side. So Francois gets to deploy his entire army, and then he will get to decide if he wants to go first or go second. And that's how it goes. So in this mission, you get a um, one victory point at the beginning of your turn for every objective you hold. Okay, and then at the end of the game, uh, starting from uh, turn two, from at the uh, in round three, each player on their turn picks one objective to get rid of, and those don't count for end game, but they still count for everything else. And then at the very end of the game, which is now six rounds, not variable, so I'm glad they changed that. Um, the four objectives that are left, you score two for holding them. So it's progressive and end game objective scoring. Maelstrom wise is a little bit complicated. So you, your hand starts with five cards. You, at the beginning of your first turn, you pick any two cards from your deck and put them into play, and you and if you score them, that's great. Starting from round two onwards, you can you have five cards in your hand, but you can play two cards for every objective that you scored in the previous round. And if you scored all your objectives in the previous round, you can play an additional card. So you can have up to six cards in your hand and six cards in play, which is the admission exception to the usual rules. That's a little bit complicated, You'll get the hang of it. Hopefully we will get the hang of it. <laughs> and uh, you'll see as we play through what's going on, we'll try and talk it through. So Francois is just deploying up and then I'll deploy up and then we will come back. All right, so uh, Francois has deployed. He's deployed three knights equally spaced and then his three tanks in there and the rest of his duders just around there. And I've deployed uh, in a little nest here in, behind this building. And I've got Guardians on this back objective, Guardians over in that building, and the other Guardian unit over there. The Alars are in uh, Deep Strike, as are the Wardens. And that's it. So, Francois, are you going first or second? I am going to go first. You're going to go first, okay. And here's why I think that's important. I That gives me two turns of shooting before the Terminators come down. Two turns to move and try and spread out a bit. And I think, I'm gonna have to triple check, but I think if I move this knight, it's full 12 inches, I will see the back of this bike. Oh yeah? Okay. It's pretty hard to hide everything behind that one ruin. It's yeah, I didn't check. 12 inches, oh yeah, totally. I can see basically the, the whole back half of this bike. Okay, there we go. So deployment mistake already made. All right, so I'm going to, uh, I don't see any reason not to seize, just to stop you from yeah, all the not. things that you just said. Yep. So here we go. Yep. Seas? No. All right. Have a good game, Francois. Good luck. Uh, we'll come back. Turn one for knights. Okay, so turn one for knights. Right at the top of the turn, he has to pick two cards that he will try and score this turn. So secure objective five, which is there, so you got it, basically. Yeah. And defend one, which is there, which nobody can get to. Yeah, I just measured. You can't yeah. get to it. So uh, those two he'll probably get, so I'll set them up nicely for round two. Yeah. And then uh, that's it. No other cards in play. So we'll kind of go on to the rest of knights turn one. So, all right uh so turn one moving so this guy has moved out and he's got the canticle reroll ones to hit on him for a cp yeah everything else is just kind of shifted around and that's about it yeah so we'll come back at the end of this turn yeah okay so end of uh knight's turn one just two damage done to this bike uh from this knight and that's it nothing else did anything nope um actually i could have used prepared positions too but i didn't think that was necessary well you uh, you're already in cover right so that wouldn't stack oh yeah that's true that's true that's true so it's been so long since I had to see me do such things, <laughs> I forgot how they work. Uh, so at the end of Francois' turn, he scores... Um, secure to five. Oh no, so just the progressive is uh, from the start of from turn next two. turn, yeah. So you secured five, yep. and uh, halfway you're halfway through, through that, so just one point. So this is my... Okay, so uh, one point for Knights going on to turn two, uh, turn one turn for one. Custodies. Mm -hmm. Okay, so turn one for Custodes. The two that I've picked from my deck for this turn are Defend Objective 6, which is back here, and these guys will easily get that. And then Area Denial, because Francois is outside of 12 of the middle. I don't want to be anywhere near that middle, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's, so that's going to score me two points as well, and yeah. it might be harder to hold late, get later yeah. on. So uh, there we go. Those are my two cards for this turn, so we'll come back in my turn. Okay, so... Uh, so this is uh, Custodes turn one, and actually this will be the end of my turn ones. So I just moved the bikes into a more forward position, but in cover, and those guys shifted around. My captain went over there to stand on that objective to get me a point, uh, because he can't be shot because of character rules, and there's no way Francois is killing all 
five bikes with those uh, grav tanks when I'm in cover. Ooh. And then uh, that's about it, really. So um, this, I was just saying, we were just saying on the stream that unfortunately in a team format ETC tournament, if you are playing custodies, you're going to be asked to go up against a hard matchup like this and score one or two points. And that is very important, actually. It does not underestimate how important one or two points can be uh, in for team format. So sometimes that just involves hiding. Um, there's no scenario in which I push forward here and it ends up good. <laughs> there's almost no scenario. Unless my bikes were infantry and could go through this wall. Then maybe there's a scenario, yeah. but they can't. So yeah, it's difficult. Um, okay, so at the end of my turn one then, so uh, you will score two for your defend objective one. Correct. Um, I will score, uh, sorry. So I'm up to three now. So eternal war, so you will score, you're up to three on eternal war. Yeah. Okay. And then I will score um, air denial for two. So D3 in ETC is automatically just two. And then I'll start my defense. So I'll get two to start with. Actually, these are Maelstrom. I'm totally confusing this up. So okay. the Eternal War is going to be the when we score the objectives at the beginning of the next turn. Yeah, so I score two for Maelstrom. Yeah. Not Eternal War. Well, no, you scored three for Maelstrom. One, two for... Um... Yeah, and now I got Defend. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, and then you have scored three for Maelstrom. Yeah, correct. Okay, so none of us scored any Eternal War in the first turn, which makes sense. Makes sense. And neither of us scored First Strike. Okay, so right now, actually, I'm winning! Woo! <laughs> Uh, no, it's, th it's no. You're winning. Well, well, yeah, because you don't. You haven't achieved the defend yet. Yeah. So you, I got two. Yeah. But I'm not going to and kill you these got, guys. And you got three. Yeah. So it's three to two at the end of the first round, going on to round two, for knights. Because these. Yeah. Okay. So knights turn two. So now Francois draws five cards plus an extra one because he's he got both of his objectives from the first round. He can put five into play. So two per objective he scored plus a bonus one. And uh, so he had drawn bad cards, apparently, so he spent two CP on this new uh, reprioritize stratagem that lets you dump two that you just draw, drew and pick two new ones. So what he's played is, uh, so, he's got one hidden. Yep. Uh, just show the camera what that is. Okay. Show him. All right. And then you've got Secure Objective 4, which is this one. That one, I think. And then No, no Prisoners, four, one, which is Kill Something. Yep. And then... Secure, uh, two, secure two and six, there, which and are six, these which ones. There. Those are going to go away at the end. Yeah, you can discard those at the end. <laughs> and that's it. So we'll come back at the end of Knight's turn two. I have to choose which one, which one I'm going to start shooting with first. All right, because... turn two movement. So this knight over here can get views now that way over the building, and that knight over there can see that dude as well. So that's yeah. uh, unfortunate. Everything else just shifted around, and that's about it. So we'll come back at the end of Knight's turn two. That's unfortunately it. Okay, so end of turn uh, two for knights. They killed two of that unit there and one guy survived. And that's it. So, um, I feel like maybe you should have shot these guys. I don't know. Like the Sorry. melter could kill one each, but that's... Well, a, the melter's only D6 shots, yeah, right? So, so I was it's going for the volume of No, fire. I think you did it right. Yeah, I think you did it right. Especially with a three up involve, like more yeah, shots yeah. I thought was better. Okay, so at the end of your turn, uh, so you go one point each for holding those three objectives at the beginning right. of your turn. That's on the Eternal War. And in Maelstrom, you scored Secure Objective only Four. Secure four yeah. And then what are you discarding? So I'm going to discard uh, Secure Six. Six and two. And two. And keeping no prisoners. Keeping no prisoners. Yeah, because once you kill that guy, then you'll get that. So that's okay. the discard point. So, Francois scored his three. Fortunately, I'm only going to be able to put two in play next Maelstrom, time. you scored game. one. One. Okay. So, that puts you up to four points. So, you are up to seven to two. I score one now. Two for defend objective yep. six. So, actually, I'm going to go up to You're still gonna be four. So, it's... Uh, you score now three. At the seven to four, going on to turn two for custodies. Yep. Okay. Uh, so, my draw... Uh, so I get five cards, so defend two, which is that one. Uh, I spend two CP also to switch two cards because I got defend and secure four, which is that. And then I've got defend five, which I can't do. Secure six, which is that one. Uh, assassinate and Kingslayer. All the knights are characters and that one's the warlord. So let's see what happens. Right, kill this guy. He's okay, so turn two for Kasodis. It's all out. This lone dude is the lone survivor. Marky Marky <laughs> stayed back there. Those guys have moved out onto there now. These guys have stayed back here. Uh, the Wardens, the Vexilla rolled a good advance and Valores has moved 12 
and the Wardens have uh, homered in four inches away from this knight. These Alaris has just come down nine inches away because they're losers, they have to go nine inch. The bikes with 14 inch move are four inches away from that knight, and the captain advanced to get into a buffing area over there. And that's it. So, could be some fireworks. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so end of my turn. Unfortunately, D3s yet again let me down. These guys made it in 4-inch charge and only did uh, 14 wounds to them in total from 7 Wardens with Strength 8 Axes. Crazy. Uh, and then those five, 4 bikes made it in. One died in Overwatch, but with Avenge the Fallen, same as 5 bikes. Again, only did 17 after Feel No Pain. 17 wounds, and so that uh, knight survived with 7 left. I lost one guy in Overwatch there. I lost one and two-thirds Wardens here on the return. And, uh, yeah, so that's not great. You know, both those knights should be dead. Yep. But, you know, that's the nature of D3. Okay, so in terms of scoring now at the end of uh, round two. Yep. Uh, so I have scored Secure Objective 6 um, and nothing else. And I'm going to ditch Defend 5. What else did I ditch? Defend four and secure four. Sorry, I'm confusing my piles. Mm -hmm. This is my ditch pile. This is my score pile. Okay, so I scored uh, just secure objective six. So Maelstrom, I score one. And you don't score any Maelstrom at the end of my turn, right? Nope. And then, um, and then uh, nothing at the, sorry, I'm getting confused. It's at the beginning of my turn, I scored those three. Yeah. So I just scored one point this turn. Uh, and I have a defend two. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it is eight to seven for custodies going on to top of three. Okay. Knights turn three. So Francois scored one objective last turn. Uh, so he so picked I put, up can I put, put two, two into more play. into play. He put supremacy and score objective one. So that's one, and yep. he's got supremacy. So that's good. Yep. Um, and so yeah, we'll go on to the rest of this. And he scored three points for holding his three. So yep. we'll go on to the rest of Knights turn three. Okay, Knight's turn three movement. Uh, so stratagem used to make this guy full health. I hate that stratagem. He's moved out that way 12. Uh, that guy shifted back. These things just shifted around. Right. That knight has come up there. And that knight's stuck in combat. Six. Oh, nice. And that's it. So we'll come back at the end of this turn for Knight's turn so this, three. This roll four points. Okay, so end of Knight's turn three. Pretty good. Killed uh, two more Wardens. Killed these three guys easily. Um, and then killed... Two bikes. Uh, actually, you didn't kill any bikes in combat with this knight, <laughs> but, but up. the explosion of that one killed a bike and a half, and then took six mortals off the captain. Yep. And then uh, those three guys died as well. Yep. So good turn for Francois. This is what happens. I went for it and failed, and so I got hit in return. Uh, so Francois, Maelstrom, what you score? So, so you I scored, scored two for supremacy. Two for supremacy. One for no prisoner, and one for secure one, so four total. So four total. I will score Defend Objective 2 at the end of your turn. Yep. So that puts me... Uh, that puts my former last turn into 3. Your 1 into 3, yeah. Okay, so I scored 2 and you scored 4. Yep. And you got your 3. So you scored 7 this turn and I got an extra 2. Yeah. Okay, which puts you at 14 to 10 going on to bottom of 3. Okay, actually I forgot, so I did kill his Warlord character, Knight, so that scores me Kingslayer and Assassinate for another 3. So mm -hmm. it's 14 to 11, yep. uh, no, 14 to 13, sorry, going on to turn 4. Turn bottom of 3. Bottom of 3. Okay, so uh, bottom of 3, so I pulled Secure 3 and Mystery. Mystery card. Uh, secure 3 is there, Secure 1, which is there. There, yeah. I pulled big game you can get both and of those. no prisoners. You can get all four. So of I can't those. get a bunch of these. You can get all four. So we'll see what happens. Custodies turn in three. Yeah. Okay, so movement custodies. So these wardens have come up with Valoris and Vexilla here. Uh, that captain flew up there in support. And these three have moved up there to cause some trouble. Yep. And uh, that's it. That guy shifted around, and these three guys have moved up there, and that's it. So we'll come back at the end of this turn. Okay, so end of custodies turn three. Uh, so that knight died. Didn't blow up, failed the first roll to Necro Knight, and then failed the reroll. So that's so key. I mean, if that Knight stood back up again, oh man, like those wardens are probably dead. So 20, 20, As it is, yeah. four wardens left, 
Not too bad. Yep. Uh, over here, the uh, captain got into that guy, did only four wounds, <laughs> rolled one, one, two, two. And um, yeah, did nothing. Oh, you got to find me back with the tanks. Oh, of course. Yeah. Um, uh, D3 attacks. It's three sixes. Come on, the tank kill's kill is going to be funny. Yeah. yeah, one hit. Uh, it's a wound. <laughs> Roll a one. <laughs> oh, dude, I saw one flash by there. Okay, and nothing done in return. Uh, these bikes made it over here, killed that tank, and then wrapped this duder and on all that objective. So good turn. Very good turn. So at the end of my turn, uh, so I scored uh, two points for a turn award at the beginning of my turn. Yep. And then I'm going to score, let's see, uh, I'm going to score big game. Yep. Because I'm not likely going to kill that last night. I'm going to score secure one. And I'm going to score uh, no prisoners. And I'm going to discard this one, which was defend three. Okay. That's the discard, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. And I'm left with secure three. So, uh, so no prisoners. How many units did I kill? Uh, you one, killed, two. Uh, oh, morale three. Maybe this one. Because you killed. Well, you only killed two guys, right? No, I killed that unit. Yeah. So that's one. This unit. tank. Two the units, knight. Three units. And then maybe this unit. Well, the fourth unit doesn't matter, right? Because it'd be, be two already. Yeah, but still, you gotta make. Yeah, it yeah, yeah. But <laughs> I, I, I've only lost two guys, so the leadership seven. So I'm fine. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So I score two points for no prisoners. Secure one and uh, big game hunter is how many vehicles do I kill? Just two. Two. I have to kill three, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's two, three, four points. Yep. Okay. So, um, and I've slain the warlord. So, uh, now it is, so I scored four points, six points, seven points, including slay. And you didn't score any extra. Nope. And it was uh, 13 all, so it's 20 to 13 now, going on to top of four. Big score, big score. Okay, so turn four for knights. Uh, Francois has pulled secure four, which and, and mission critical four, which is here. Which I already have. And then um, defend two, which is, is mine. Yeah. And um, then I'm blood and guts, which is kill something yeah, in combat. In combat. And and overwhelming firepower. Overwhelming firepower. And yeah, so you could do these, because you've got like and a full power knight, card. a captain of one, and, and a secret card. Okay. So we'll come back, Knight's turn four. Yep. Okay, Knight's turn four movement. Uh, this dude here is advanced and run away to over there. These guys stayed there. This tank that was here has moved over there. That Knight now has come over here. It's gonna be a problem. The captain's left over there. That thing has obviously fallen back. And there's a dude over there who moved up as well. That guy's stuck in there and that's it. So we'll come back at the end of Knight's turn four. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to reveal my secret card and score assassinate. For the captain. Okay. Uh, so, knights turn four. So, scored the secret card, which was assassinate, because that captain died. Two of these bikers died, and that one biker, with events to fall and six attacks, just did one wound to this guy. Failed wounds five times. Uh, and then these wardens whittled down to one warden left, and uh, that's about it. So, Francois scores assassinate. Secure objective four and mission, mission critical, critical four. four. And I'm going to discard defend two. Okay, so how many maelstrom is that, sir? Three. So you scored in your turn four, yeah. three maelstrom. Yeah. Okay, and you held how many objectives? Uh, I was. I only held one at the beginning of the turn. Yeah, just one, yeah. okay. So you have scored four points this turn. Yeah. Okay, so that puts you on 17. So it's 20 to 17. Right now, going on to bottom of four for custodies. Yep. Okay, turn four for custodies. I have drawn uh, blood and guts, secure objective five, defend four, and defend one, and I still have three. So three, of course, is my side over there. One is over there. Five, I'm already securing with that one biker. Um, and then four is here. And then this secret one is actually defend three. So I'm a recycling my deck, so I'm just getting the same cards now. So let's see, I can do a bunch of these. I'm still up three points, let's see how it goes. But that actually, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. actually then more tactics to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, turn four for custodies. So these guys just shifted around here. Uh, Valoris is moving up there for some mischief. The Vexilla is just hanging back here. Um, this guy moved up and that biker's still in combat and that's it. So we'll come back at the end of this turn. 
Okay, um, so the end of my turn, uh, so I killed these two guys easily. That biker only hit twice and failed to wound twice. He's still alive. Ah, uh, so annoying. Well, okay. I wish I didn't kill you in return, because... I know, that would have been just salt and salt. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I didn't get my blood and guts, which is annoying, so I wonder if I should dump it now, because he's probably going to die next turn. I mean, it doesn't matter, you're just going to redraw it. Because <laughs> it's going to go yeah, back yeah, next Yeah, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, you could get blood and guts with... Uh, yeah, Lewis. maybe. Mm -hmm. Secure 5, which I did, because I'm still on that objective. Yeah, you're still Secure on that. 3, which I didn't get. No. And this one... Which I'll just keep. I might as well just keep them for now. Yeah, sure. Uh, no, I'll discard the fan three. Okay, so I just got uh, one point. Yeah. Now I have to think very carefully about what I want to do. So therefore, that is another point. So I'm up 23 to 17 going on to top of five. Mm -hmm. All right, Knight's turn four. Um, Francois, just, we're just pulling cards that we discarded earlier now. So blood and gut still, overwhelming firepower, hold the line, secure three, and defend six. So def six, defend six is over here, obviously. Mm -hmm. Secure three is over there. Okay, we'll come back at the end of Knight's turn. Looks like Francois just moving that tank up. This mm -hmm. Knight's going to stay there and shoot these guys away. Yeah. And that's about it. We'll so come back at the end of this turn. Zipard. Okay, so turn five, Francois started off with how just, many points? Just one. One. Because um, you were still on there and there. So, but that guy just moved on to that objective? Yeah. So then you didn't have any to no, start No, 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 I had this one. Okay. Oh yeah, your tank I was had on. this one to start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you got one Eternal War. One Eternal War. And then Maelstrom, uh, so he's killed the Vexilla with shooting from the knight after killing this guy easily and the bike easily. And then killed this one dude here. I haven't literally made like no Storm Shield saves today, so that's annoying. And so how many mess from you score, sir? So, my secret card, Kingslayer. Okay. For two. Okay. Uh, how many things have I killed in shooting? One, two, three. So, overwhelming firepower for two. So that's four. And uh, hold the line for one. Because you're not in my opponent. Yeah. Zone. So that's so five, that's five points. Pretty good. Five points. Okay, so that's a six point turn plus Slay the Warlord. So yep. that's seven points. Yeah. So actually, you're up by one. Bottom of five, 24 to 23 for Knights. Yep. Okay, turn five, running out of models. I've got secure three, five, two, and four, and blood and guts. So let's see what we can do with four models. Okay, so my turn was pretty bad. Valoris came out, took three wounds in Overwatch, and failed his charge. And uh, this guy can only reach with the spear guy and did nothing, and that's it. So um, at the beginning of my turn, how many objectives did I hold? Just one. Just one. And then, uh, so I two. secure two, and I got nothing else. Um, there's no point discarding because all the cards are in my hand anyway. Um, well, it kind of blocking me up, so I might as well discard. Right? There's no reason not to discard. No not to. Okay, and then, uh, so I scored one point, Maelstrom. So I scored two points. So I'll, top of six is 25 to 24 for Custodes. Yep. Actually, I should have charged Valorius to get Blood and Guts. I, that was a brain fart. But I got one point for the Maelstrom. Okay, so uh, Knights killed Valorius. So the other option is just to leave Valorius and then get me Linebreaker. Right. Right, because I had the last turn. Right. So one point. If I lose by one point, I'll be annoyed by that. Yeah. But whatever. So he died, obviously. Uh, and then I, one's... Freaking ones, and I lost one guy there from uh, from that tank, yep. and that's it. So, uh, so Francois, so you scored three on his Eternal War and one Maelstrom. Yep. Okay, so you end the game with 28 points. Well, I could still defend three if you don't shoot me off. Oh, true. Okay, so it's 28 to 25 right now going on to the bottom of six. Okay, so end of the game, I did manage to kill those guys off there. So I scored the secure three. Yep. So that's a point. Yeah. Um, if uh, now you get end of game scoring too. So that is twenty eight to twenty six. Okay, and then uh, nobody gets line breaker. Nope. And uh, end of game scoring, I score. We, we both get last strike. Two. So we both get last strike. So that's even. There's no last strike. Oh, there's no last strike. Yeah. Okay. So eternal war end game. So you got four. Four. That one doesn't count, but I have these two. Oh yeah. Okay. So plus four. Are we gonna tie? And I got plus two. Yeah. No, you're gonna. No, I think you're gonna beat me. Okay. And then. Uh, 
That's it. Kill points. Ah, uh, yes, kill points. So, so you basically. Oh. So I killed all but one. So I got eight units, right? So you got. You got. You killed. Valors, Vexilla, two Guardians, that's four. Bikes, Bike Captain, that's six. Wardens, that's seven. You only had eight drops? I thought you had nine. So I had uh, three guardians. Yeah, there's one left. Three so that's characters. Kill. That's five kills. And then uh, wardens, and bikes. Seven. And alarms. Okay, so yeah. eight. So so eight, eight, eight kill points for you. Yeah. And what did I kill? So you Not killed <laughs> two knights, one tank, three units of skitari. So six. Is that okay, right? so two points to you yeah, for kill point differential. Yeah. It's tight though. Okay, so you score a total of. Three, six, seven, eight, eleven plus four. So, so uh, eleven plus four is fifteen. 15. I scored uh, three, four, seven. I uh, know no, this is uh, your maelstrom. Four, seven, ten, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen. Yeah. So you're ahead in the maelstrom. Okay. Now the, uh, the so eternal war. And then, uh, so, and then uh, one for warlords. So that's sixteen. Yeah. And then the two kill point differentials. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, eighteen. How are you? No, no, no. Them? Sorry. Fifteen plus eighteen is thirty-three. Oh, okay. Yes. Plus this thirty-four plus two thirty-six 36. minus one for each active objective you did not achieve. Oh, so one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, 31. Well, I, actually, I would have discarded, right, knowing that, because you can just discard, right, at the end? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can discard many, however many you want, right? So at the end of my last turn, I just discard my whole hand, right? Uh, okay, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of stupid. That's kind of stupid. Why did they, why would they just, penalize you then? You would just always discard your whole hand. I'll have to ask. Okay, yeah. okay, so, so, fine. 36. Um, Cause, yeah, that's a weird one. Yeah, I'll have to ask that. Yeah. Okay, and then I've got... Three, five, seven, eight, nine, Eternal War. Yep. Uh, four, 10, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, that. I got that wrong. Yeah, so it's the 11 for Eternal War. That plus two is my okay. end game. 11 plus 17, so 28. Yeah. Linebreaker, 29. None of those, and we're not counting that, so 29. Ah, why does yeah, it keep turning off? We're probably doing something wrong with the uh, the way that we're scoring the leftover objectives. That makes no sense. Okay, so Francois wins 36 to 29, which is a differential of 7. Right. So it's actually mm -hmm. a 14 to 6 game for Francois. Reasonably close, yeah. Yeah, good game. Yeah, good game, man. That was fun. An eye-opening. Yeah, so, but Nick, the question is, if you can just discard your objectives in your morale phase, why don't you just discard the rest of your active... Yeah, you just discard them all. Why the would you take a penalty? And, the, and at the end of your turn six, why not just discard everything? And mm. you want to keep a defend or something. <laughs> yeah, but then why would you risk it if yeah. you, know, you lose I it? Might, yeah, I might have kept defend three, but that would yeah. have been minus one. Okay, one. anyway, so how'd that go, Francois? Uh, it was eye-opening. Uh, the ETC missions I'm still very much getting used to, and how they work, and how the scoring works. And so that was really, really nice. Uh, getting used to the, playing the Scorpiuses, they're really good, but you got to be careful how you position them. I'm, I'm happy, obviously. I uh, got a little bit of luck <laughs> in a few key moments. So dice were also uh, kind to me tonight. Uh, yeah, it was it was good, and I really like the list. I'm not changing it at all. I'm just gonna spend the next month practicing it. Well, I think it's just your classic triple yeah. knight list. Yeah. You know, you know, basically maximize the firepower and. Yeah. So yeah, I think um, I did pretty well. I uh, just got unlucky. I didn't kill those two. If I killed those two knights, then you probably. Then I think the game is a little bit different because I take one less turn of hardcore shooting. Yeah. Um, but, um, you know, it is what it is. That's, that's always the way it goes when you're hitting with D3 damage weapons. Mm -hmm. And uh, otherwise, I think I played as well as I could. I maybe could have scavenged another point there from Vexilla, from Valoris right at the end, but I don't think it would have made a difference. Lost by seven points. So, uh, as I said at the beginning, it's, Custodes playing progressive and end game scoring is hard. You know, that's why we, that's why ITC, we, it's, it's some, a format we can play. It's, it's really hard to play Custodes and ETC. Um, so uh, 
we'll see what happens. Uh, otherwise, that was a cool game. First time playing ETC new missions. Yep. So we'll be seeing a lot more of that. Uh, that is the final bat rep before the holidays. Um, we'll be doing a podcast. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, talking with Colin Sherman tomorrow night to talk about Charity Hammer, which, of course, I'm going to after the new year. And then on Thursday, me and Chris are going to do a year in review <laughs> matchup nice. uh, podcast where we can uh, celebrate the good stuff and bemoan the bad stuff <laughs> of the year and look forward to the next year. So do join us for that. And then we'll be taking a couple of weeks, uh, um, 10 days on holiday, because then you'll, you'll get the stream from Charity Hammer, which is 48 hours of continuous 40K. So, uh, but you'll hear lots about that tomorrow night. So thanks very much for watching, everybody. Thanks, Ron Swap, for coming over. Always a pleasure. We'll see you next time.